now we are going to start to learn about how we can make the automatic operations in a scratch so first what we will start so just follow the steps how we can uh, do that so you can see here first this is the task 3 mathematical calculation in scratch so how we can add the three numbers we will see here and then we can find the average of three numbers so these arithmetic calculations also we can do in a scratch programming so through the scratch how we can do this let's start so first you will see the uh, steps so uh, here you can see the follow the steps so the first step is ask the numbers and then you uh, ask the numbers means uh, there is a block uh, uh, there is a block in the ask group and uh, sensing uh, sensing block so you can choose the ask the number and then you can choose uh, add the answer block also and then after you will create a variables because you know every va every value will store into the variable so first we need to create variables and then we can store these numbers so uh, we required three variables here for storing the three numbers and once variable sum we will take it for the storing the result here so in next step we will see the set the variable to the answer so we will set the variable and calculate the sum and after that calculate the average so how we can do it let's do it quickly so first uh, you can see the step one choose the ask uh, choose ask block and from the sensing uh, block, code block and then you can put the valid message so now we will start first uh, so here you can see okay so now we will going to the here you you can see the sensing block is here so just um, uh, choose the sensing block and then there is a ask the number block here so ask the number block I will choose it and then uh, what I will do it I will do it uh, I will write here enter first number so enter first number I will take it here and then after I will go to the I will go to the answer block here and I will take it the answer block where the value will store so first we need to create variables then we can store the value so how we can create the variables so go to the variable uh, code block when, I, when you click here you can see the make a variable here so when I click the make the variable here so you can write you can give your variable name and you can click for all sprite and click on ok so any name you can give as a variable name but you uh, you will not choose any uh, any number is any number which will start with your variable name so it is invalid so every variable name will start with the alphabet so any number you can see that so I will take it here first number okay so for first number I took the name is first variable name so now we can you can see here the first uh, number is created and in the stage area you can see the first number the value initially is zero now what I'm going uh, what I'm uh, taking the block set block so in next step you can see here I will show you wait so uh, here you can see the three add the block add the answer block so you can add the values in the variable and then create three variables and assign the variable name so here you can see first I will set set the very first variable name here and it's already selected first number so I did not ch uh, change anything and then put the answer block into the set number so now the first number will store into this answer block because first number is already created here initially the value is zero same thing uh, uh, what you will do so uh, this is the first number okay now uh, uh, it's the same code you can copy it so you can make the duplicate here so you can uh, make the duplicate also here you need to change the second variable so I did not create the second variable so I will create a second variable also so I will same like way second variable I can choose it and you can see here the second variable is already created so I will just go to the drop down list and I will choose the second variable uh, second variable uh, name and then put the answer block is only so you can see here the second number is also second variable is also there here second variable I choose is so you can rename it also so if you want to rename it just right click here and then go to the second number not second variable so second number you can take it 
okay so now you can see that and uh, the variable name is changed here same way uh, you can do it for the third so we can create the duplicate and put it down to the here and then you will need to check the uh, you need to uh, take the third variable so I need to create a third variable here so same procedure you can create for the third variable so I create the third variable sorry third number third number okay so third number you can take it so click on okay you can see here the third number is already there so here I will choose the third number okay now here we will choose also we will also change the uh, message also enter second number SCC or and the enter second number okay and then after enter the third number so I will enter write the enter third number so you can see here uh, the for first number for second number for third number I already created three variable first number second number third number and I already uh, take three answer blocks so it will create the three uh, numbers here now what I will do I, I want to create I want to add the sum so how I can get the sum so I will take this variable here also so I will take the sum and then I will I need one more variable so I need to create one more variable here sum so now I create one sum variable here and then what I will do is just set to the sum okay how we can find the sum so we will go to the operator block here you can see the operator block is there and we will choose the plus operator here you can see I need to I need to add three numbers but here only the two box here so I will take one more plus operator and make the three blocks here so when you will uh, drag it here so it will make the three so now you can add first number second number and third number here so put it here first oh, sorry here so drag it drag it into the sum to here and then go to the variable and then choose the first number so you can put it dra drag it here first number then go to the second number and then go to the third number so you, we will drag it and put it so now we already are uh, done it the same first number sec plus second number plus third number so it will calculate your sum so and here the, for in the beginning you can see that go to the event block and when you, you will choose the when green flag you know every program will run with, uh, will run when you insert the when click flag so here you can start the game okay so now when I go to here so you can see that if I'll give the number six uh, then press enter key so it will ask to enter the second number so if you will put the seven then you will put the third number it is asking for the third number so now it's four so now you can see the sum equal a sum of uh, the first number six plus seven plus four equal to 17 now how we can find the average of this number so you can see this is the step one already we have done it here choose the block set answers okay now step B we already create one more variable so these are the steps you can follow it also so uh, we have completed six seven eight so for uh, at the last add the variable sum to the first number second number and third numbers now uh, go to the average how we can find the average here so find the average so same add us toolbar from the sensing block and give the message average so uh, you can identify it is average program okay now go to the look block and choose say and for command so we will see how we can find the average so first we will go to the sensing block go to the sensing block here ask the number so you can put it here a message here okay average is okay so I will write average average and then go to the look group uh, sorry look uh, code block and then you can choose the say uh, say block say here and then you can uh, what I will what you will do it so you will do it so you can see here so now uh, so we already look block and choose say and command add the divide command from the operator block you know there is an operator block where you can find the divide block and then the variable sum add the sum divider so here is the uh, total code for uh, for this uh, program you can see here so you, in the, the last line you can see I put the sum variable and I will divide by 3 and I took the uh, operators 
divide operator because you know if you want to find the average of numbers so you will add all the numbers and then divide it by how many numbers are there so now we can uh, do that and then we will do it so first I will go to the operator block here and I will take this divide so you can see here this is the divide uh, code block is here now you can see here the average block here so uh, so you can see here uh, the first so where is the sum so in the sum variable there is a result all the sum is here so first uh, so go to the variable and then you can put the sum here and look here the sum is here so I will drag it sum so I will put it into the sum here and then you divide it by 3 and then uh, you can drag it this block here and you can write a wait for the second so you can gi give the 10 seconds so it will give your result till the uh, 10 seconds here now i will run this again so i will stop this game and i will run this game here you can see if i'll put the 7 4 and the 2 for the third number so you can see here the 7 plus 4 plus 2 equal to 13 so the average is asking so when you press enter key it will show the average 4.33 so this is the program for uh, the arithmetic or simple arithmetic operations how we can add the numbers and how we can find the average numbers in next video we will see some other arithmetic operations till then goodbye